Jakarta, Palembang, Sumatera Selatan, Indonesia. For the final time, welcome back to Centre Court here at the Jacobaring Sports Centre Tennis Tournament. We have one more match to go and it is the eagerly awaited mixed doubles gold medal match. The ties, Luxika Kunkum and Sonchat Ratibatana up against the Indonesians, Chris Runkat and Aldila Suciardi, who have uh, ridden a wave of emotion, taken the crowd with them to this final and uh, they'll be playing in probably the best weather of the day. We've got some blue sky, some high white cloud, but not much of that around now after the rain interruptions earlier. And it's pleasant. Uh, a bit better than uh, it's been through much of the week, which has been hot and steamy, but we hope that the, uh, the action uh, is as hot as it's been. And we have been treated today to a couple of tremendous finals, firstly, in that uh, women's doubles final and then in the men's singles that we've just seen but this uh, could be extra special with the home interest and you can see there's a uh, 
Not much uh, leg room now for uh, anybody coming in here, trying to find uh, one or two empty seats, but uh, it is filled up, as it should, and uh, there's such passion and pride out there on the court and around this arena. But, uh, will the two ties prove the uh, party poopers here from a uh, home point of view? Thailand have not enjoyed a, a good uh, tournament. They had higher hopes than they managed to achieve, apart from this event, but Kum Kum there on the right hand, sorry, on the left hand side uh, was the runner up in the singles four years ago. And uh, she's now aged 25. She's alongside the very experienced Sonchat Ratabatana, who has a current doubles ranking of just outside the top 100, but is, uh, has been as high as number 39. Kumkum herself is uh, currently 91 in the world in doubles, 92 in the world in singles. So she still plays uh, both disciplines to a very high level. But they're perhaps one of the uh, players of the tournament, uh, Suciardi, alongside Chris Runkat. Runkat at 28 years of age. He's just outside the top 100 at the moment, but uh, has been just inside it. Suciardi, well, she has just been inspired, Arvin, because she's played way above her, her ranking level. She's outside the top 600, and yet here she is going for a gold medal. Some story. Well, for me, uh, she's been one of the tournament's uh, players of the tournament. Uh, she really has played so well. was really impressed with the way she played in singles. Of course, a couple of big upsets, but has been excellent in the mix as well. She's really combined well with her opponent. She's got some good volleys on her. She smashes well. The turn is very solid forehand has been a real weapon we and saw there it was that. yeah that fantastic performance yesterday against the japanese it was a, a very tight two setter interspersed with a, a long rain delay at the end of the first oh, set but um, fingers crossed uh, there won't be any uh, further well, interruption from the weather it would be fitting to see this through in one go and who knows maybe a a golden finish for the hosts. And that's uh, how the ties have uh, emerged to this stage. They very nearly didn't. They were hard pressed by Danilina and Nadovyasov, the Kazakhs, in that semi final, going to a, a match tiebreak to sort it out. And for their opponents, the, uh, the home team. Uh, their biggest battle was in their quarter-final against Bopana and uh, Reiner. But uh, young and old have gathered here in great numbers now for this uh, concluding match-up. And, uh, of course, it's always special in, a, in an international games when a, a host nation gets hold of the, the title. We've uh, not far away from the climbing wall, and in fact, the first uh, gold, I think, to be won at, at this sports city this year in the Asian Games uh, was won by an Indonesian climber, a lady who uh, raced up that wall. I, I was amazed yesterday, I saw some footage of uh, actually the men in their event, the speed wall climb. And um, yeah, it was just awesome. I mean, they, they made it to the top, and that, that is some, you know, some metres up, isn't it? Probably about uh, 30 metres high, I don't know specifically, but they did it in something like, I don't know, about eight seconds. Yeah, quite incredible. How did you even start to, uh, to get up that wall? But uh, yeah, it's impressive. Dedicate so much of your life to these uh, disciplines, whether it be climbing up a wall, whether it be in you know, one of the boats that we've seen. We've got the... Uh, the rowing lake just across the way as well. How good they are. India picking up a, a medal earlier today in the rowing. And from a mixed doubles point of view, this is now the peak that they are hoping to climb. The gold medal match. Ready to go. 
Rata Ratana to start them off. Always an early tester, those sort of smashes. Initially, a very good first volley. It's just drawing Roncat forward. Come just through the middle. to get on with it but the umpire having to call the crowd to quiet taken coolly using both hands on the racket to control it <laughs> it's Ratabatana in Thailand's game Ratabatana along with his uh, his brother Sanjay winner of a couple of titles on the tour but uh, some years back now, they won Bangkok in 2007 and then Chennai the following year. Early signs of why he has been so successful on the doubles court. A couple of really good volleys in that game. Looking as if he's playing well within himself. Comes to those couple of difficult volleys. Another playing. It was a good return off a, a body serve. Look at the elevation there. Right? Strong at the net. 
singles. Wasn't afraid to come forward using her strength. Very close to the net there. Oh, and the time. Between the points. Thank you. Quick to find the space. Oh, and then asking the crowd for quiet. The umpire backing him up. She certainly looks up sharp, hasn't she? Sajiadi. Very strong overhead, keeping her cool there. And the footwork, just getting herself into position there. The little adjustment steps. It's settling game for the Indonesians. Kumpum, the 25-year-old Thai, to serve now. There. A little bit of good fortune there. The net over. Matthew Matana's racket. He was a jack-in-the-box yesterday. There's been no change today either. Very quick to realise. Is that what you call fast twitch muscles? Yes, I think so. She's put too much in the end, and the flag will be flying high if uh, Indonesia now break here. They've got uh, points to do so. <laughs> Taking no prisoners there. They're at the Trying to help out. He's doing his job. <laughs> on this, in a flash, he's going to move forward on top of the net. a bit of noise in the point and they look up and react to that but it's still a deciding point so it could yet be a break <laughs> and they get it like that into the net from Raja Vitana after his very sharp bowling that not quite there and the Indonesians get the first break of the match Almost looked as if it was harder to hit in the net than hit over there, just coming directly down on the ball. You couldn't believe it. I think it was uh, in a little bit of shock when he missed that.
even saw that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's one thing to break, but then to hold your own serve, that's vital, and uh, the pressure now will be on Suciardi to do so for the first time today. Down to this one. Yeah. Yeah. Point has certainly been off putting. Similar volley. That's Tuano missed. to defend and then attack. That well, was good pop on that high backhand smash. They're not easy. Got some good strength there. Slightly strange choice of shot there. Uh, Sicciardi, she actually had time to drive the backhand, went for the safer option. Didn't work out. Another deciding point. few forehands in the net as Kump Kump needs to play with a little bit more safety there more margin Gonzoli.
win more points than you lose, that's for sure. If you're the returner. So difficult to deal with. Got another point for a break. Yeah, to Having to stay back after that serve. Serve and volleyed after every serve so far until then. Even more momentum, a double break. Both the ties succumbing. And Indonesia loving this. 4 1 ahead. Pressed the Thai team. Excellent returning there from both, combining well. Look at their net play here. And it's like a brick wall right now, dealing with those higher volleys. Just a little earlier. Smash was solid. And Runka. So sharp around the net. deal with the kick off the return a bit of luck going their way here nothing Sociardi can do about that again the dipping ball difficult for the server coming in Got it now. Missed one that she flared up that line oh. earlier on, but that's a great strike from Kumkum. Kum. Trying to get into the body there and wasn't accurate enough, wasn't pacey enough that one. Had enough time just to get a body out the way. for the ties. 4-2 now Indonesia's lead. Some really good returning from both. For a single hander, it's difficult a return like that, but he was on top of it. He was up the court. Good pace behind it. Tricky one that for the umpire, that near line, because mm. looking down from their angle, it, it can look as though it does catch, but did it? I'm not sure it yes. might have done. However, we move on with Indonesia up to 15. Shorter, but the risk is that you bring the net into play. 
I've got to try and take it nice and low. that again. It was so quick. Cicciardi doing well with the reply, but what happened here? Made one of them. Oh, that one just popped in the net as he tried to get down behind it. on the contact on the serve. Very thin contact, look at that curl to that. see the space did he to the, the right hand side as we look on the court and both the Indonesians were fairly close on the left hand side another deciding point on the Kunkum serve but again she's backed herself gone out wide and that side she does hold that's a fine effort and they close the gap by one more game at least. It's 4-3 Indonesia first set. Indonesia! 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 Served her well in that game, that wide serve. Drawing the miss. I think we thought there'd be a bit of atmosphere, a bit of energy in this one. Yeah. It hasn't disappointed. No, absolutely not. Uh, they're the best atmosphere of the week. Pretty much full out here. It's fitting that this medal that they're playing for, the gold, being decided as the last match on the tennis competition side. protest from the ties they knew it Cicciani playing the backstop role he did really well coming across to take that one as early as 
she could not have let it bounce too high here. Watch this again. She can flatten that forehand out. It's penetrating, and that's a difficult shot to try and lob off. It's getting through like that. stage of the first set. In terms of the medals table overall, Indonesia currently won more gold than Thailand in the games. Nine against eight. Although the Thais have won one more medal in total, 38 against 37. Ah! He's in love. Excellent tea serve from Radovatana. a glimpse of his brother there watching in the wings there he goes sunshine oh, very close to the net again Kumkum as she struck that one Surf. He's been put under so much pressure. They turn on him very quickly. Only just long. tomorrow cheering themselves hoarse here and the noise that uh, should erupt if uh, 
Chris Runkert can now hold to take this set. Just enough on the volley, hit it firmly enough. The ties have hit more winners in the match, but they've also hit a fair number more on the unforced error count. If this woman doesn't get much higher in the game, I'd be really surprised. Yeah, absolutely. She has looked so good at times, so cool under pressure as well. Exactly what she did. Awkward position for her to take that volley in, but perfectly placed. Certainly better stuff the second half of that set from the ties. When a double breakdown, but they did make things awkward for the Indonesians, but we just we're left with a little bit too much to do. noise out here now and it'll only get louder as they get closer Everything she's touching is turning to gold. Final volley. 
to Gianni, she'll pull a little deep. Watches it so well, so alert and moving absolutely brilliantly to uh, every ball she can. Now, how is this going to come back? Getting down to that one. Runcat <laughs> just falling after his last shot, couldn't come back to cover that. Catch your breath if you can. Thank you. Thank you. Second serve, that was just riddled with tension there. You could just see it and really accelerate through it. Really feeling the pressure there.
after that initial half volley. On his knees playing it. Got good pace behind that. Moving out to his right, and it's difficult. Combination. They have been so quick to pounce on anything that's hung there. their energies to hit back hard if they can Despite the pressure, and, uh, Batana, trying to help her out. Yeah. And it's good enough for a hold. Thailand on the board in this second set. And it's just been so difficult for them to wrestle away. This momentum that the Indonesians have had, I mean, the crowd has just been incredible as well. I feel like they've been riding on this wave. Beatrice Camulia, one of the other Indonesian players we saw in action in the early days of the event. Didn't have the success she hoped for, but she's been a, a regular supporter of her compatriots here on the centre court in other matches, and uh, again, she wouldn't miss this one for anything. Just. Yeah. 
Is this the game they get back on track? Space. Well, that's when you want to help out. Love 30 down, but just too early. You can, can see this one coming a mile away. They've still got three break points. Leveling it up, two games off. A slight lull in the frenzy, but no doubt it will <laughs> pick up again. slice as well so this was landing and turning away and some good athleticism to get involved there she edged away from the ball yeah, she helps out there no question but uh, to not able to volley crisply, cleanly, and keep the point going until then. So much easier to deal with. Holly left a little higher. Could be a little bit more aggressive behind it. And the recovery is a good one. The ties take a third game in succession to lead this second set. Done really well the ties Just get back into this one and get some of the momentum right now they can really build they're ahead in the score put some real pressure now on the Indonesians first point always crucial get that one under their belt the Indonesians uh, will feel it
and let's look at how they've come back here. Just a few reminders. That's how you want to deal with those higher bo balls, those lobs. Get them away. shock than anything else. <laughs> Dropping the bit of ice. Matthew Matana doing his bit. things differently and they're not uh, happy about it but it's so late it's just for medical it's so late guys i'm calling for physio well she was icing the eye but he's now saying they need the trainer to have a look at this so uh, is the eye closing up I think we need more drama in this point. <laughs> I think so, yeah, we haven't had enough. Oh, it can be very painful directly in the eye. Well, let's just hope she's not seeing double. Well, who was it? David Goffin, who uh, got one in the eye, didn't he? Off the frame of the racket last year. At some point in recent times, when it uh, came up off the frame, I think it was in Rotterdam he was playing, and it, it flew off the racket as he went for a volley and caught him straight in the eye. And he was off the tour for a while. So there now will be a, uh, a full medical timeout, a three-minute duration. Just give her a chance here to uh, recover this. Oh, it looks as if it's going to be three minutes of an ice pack on the eye here. See, Latana was, uh, was basically saying it's too red, you should get the medical team out there. With the chances of that happening, you know, we've seen different views on it, but she was just so unlucky in the wrong place at the wrong time there. Well, she's going to be sporting some... Uh, some bruises, aren't they, after this? Uh, I mean, it's a, a fantastic fight for this gold medal. That's probably the sensible thing to do, through the towel, it's still going to be cold enough. Just this 
long as she her her vision isn't blurred, then she's she's going to be okay. Maybe just a little bit of swelling around the eye socket. Perhaps we should talk to our friend who's standing right next to us here. He's one of the medical staff. Yeah, in the back, the medical. <laughs> he's got his walkie-talkie. He's, he's poised. things off again. Probably the first one Suciada's missed that. Was well, a miss hit. Always difficult to judge. Stretch there, very well done to control it. delay, easy to lose your concentration, uh, the straight back on point. So a, a wait now for the new balls to come out. Another change required, but uh, from Thailand's point of view, Kum Kum seems okay. And she'll be serving now.
just couldn't do enough with the backhand here. Off the next ward, it was so low for him. Couldn't be aggressive. He's trying to be too cute there, Kum Kum. Needed much more height than that. once again coming to the rescue it's been fruitful for her when she's been able to make it The old adage, they talk about the vital seventh game. Here we are, right in the midst of one. <laughs> variation there from Kunkum, good variation. That one into the left, him of Suciani to get Thailand up in front in this game. And the point now to try and win it. on the volley is so good look how low he gets down to that one back knees almost scraping the surface he's so low a huge point it is deciding point and it goes some way to deciding the outcome and she holds on Suciani this time unable to do anything more on the return and Thailand remains strong 4-3. Not at all surprised that she's gone with the wide serve again. It's been really effective. That's what you want. That's what you're looking for. Big points to make that first serve. broken in her last service game. First double fall in the match.
couldn't come crashing at all. Runcat for once unable to handle it. Well, it was just so low. So more effect, so much more effective. You can keep the return as low as this. Break point. determined to get themselves into a deciding match tie break from here now we'll serve for the second set 5-3 ahead so much movement from Batizuana there and I think that just caught Runcat's eye excuse me Sachardi's eye there thought he was going to cross but hung there that set points for the ties a very strong comeback considering they were down a break right at the start of this just, just push wide Getting so much on that volley as well. You're so aggressive. So it's still set point, but it's also deciding point. Shot. 
You couldn't ask for much more, could you? The organisers of the Asian Games are here in Palembang for this uh, concluding match in the tennis tournament. Tough to think of a livelier atmosphere than this. the ball but very accurate for sure she wasn't going to pack down here opportunity there just to get a little bit more behind that one took it the line Just couldn't get back enough
run Ken out there. Oh, like she was just forcing things there, Crum Crum. So cool, has Suciardi. Another fine serve. Deep in the box. Game point. A 6-5 lead now in this second set. There's no mistake this time on the cross. Missed one of these in the opening set. They got broken, but took care of it. How's your ticker doing? All right. <laughs> A couple of deep breaths every now and then. And got this place rocking, no doubt about that. Pulse is racing, pulsating right through from first to last. And we're not quite there yet. Suciani now serving to keep Indonesia in this second set. Getting through. Mm, Sicciardi just caught late there. Trying to manufacture the lob, but there's enough on it. after the point she'd made an error of judgment. Just catching the frame of Wilcat's racket as it sizzled by. He made it. He was close, 
but he made it. And Thailand up to cup to set points. had the set points in the previous game and they recovered well there wasn't going to let that one slip going to be a little bit of a, a pause in play here now both the ties are, are going off at the end of the bathroom Mati Watana is going to take the opportunity to do the same change clothes and the same for Indonesians or one of them at least anyway well, it gives us a chance to catch our breath. So let's uh, just have a look back as we have a bit of a chance here on uh, what happened in that second set. And of course, this was the moment, crucially, when the ball comes back off the board and hits Kunkum in the eye. And that led eventually to a medical timeout, three minutes of treatment, ice pack. They had just broken back after being broken at the start and well then it was uh, just a, a thriller. What a ride through before eventually that was the break on his racket. And they get it done so all square. And the numbers, well, the high serve percentage from both teams. But, I mean, it doesn't begin to tell the story, does it? <laughs> Absolutely. We've seen some good returning. We've seen some good net play as well. But the drama, the excitement, the crowd have uh, seriously played their part in this one. We've created such an amazing atmosphere out here this evening. right now just to catch their breaths last push now well there's going to be a massive emotion whichever way this goes Come for one more 
time in competition. It is uh, Suciari first through the door to join Runcan again, and then the tie is coming out behind. And as the sun starts to dip, here we go for one more match tie break to sort out the last event in the tennis of these Asian games. In case you need reminding, it's the first to ten points clear by two. <laughs> the ties trying to encourage their team. Hold on. Hold on to your hats. Here we go. the time. Didn't catch it clean enough. to this for the Indonesians. Quick. A little too high there for Ron K. 
Kiwatara. Kiwatara. Dealing with it this time. She's been doing that to her all day, that serve out wide and again it's a, a great one. Well, the Indonesian pair still with the advantage here. Catch for serve. decision to do that under such pressure oh, that takes some mental strength 6-4 the eye formation. And it was a good change. What a time to bring it out. Haven't seen hardly any of that in the ties. Giving Suciari a different look on the return. Stand a lot of pressure there, and in the end, not able to do enough with her last shot. Got a Batana onto this, and it's back on level terms. Massive points now from here on to the finish. to that one and still at the coolness to deal with the smash lots of slice to it going away from Kum Kum
fitting that Suciardi, who has played outstanding tennis through this week, well above her ranking, hits the final shot to get gold for the host. It'll take some while for the glow to fade. Absolutely incredible drama. And the respect between the two teams. That was so exciting. So tough for the ties to take right now. But they'll look back and they'll be hugely proud of their efforts. And they got themselves back into that match. But right now, it is all about Team Indonesia. comes the flag. Delirium, pandemonium. Indonesian. <laughs>